Okay. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to Adventures with the Stones. Today, we will be doing a small unboxing of some items that we bought very recently at our last trip in Disneyland, downtown Disney. If you haven't seen that video, subscribe and go back and take a look and watch it. As promised, we're gonna go ahead and do a little unboxing with the items that we got today from off the page store and items that I've always wanted. I'm very excited to have them now. I think it will be a, a further collection for us mm -hmm. as we go along. Um, but anyway, you're seeing our first two of these collections. So this is gonna be fun. Let's go ahead and go at it. Our first item is one of these bad boys. Uh, this is going to be a showcase collection. It's one of the little figurines that you can find at some of the stores in Walt Disney World and Disneyland. There, there's hundreds of them, I feel like. There's a lot of them over the years. And this is one that Olena and I agreed on. We had to go 50-50. It was kind of <laughs> challenging for us. We had to banter back and forth a few yes, times. Yes, because I wanted everything. They had a lot of Haunted Mansion stuff, and like that's what I wanted. Mm -hmm. And as well as Nightmare Before Christmas. Mm -hmm. But this is the one that we both agreed on. Yeah. Hopefully in the future, I would like to have a wall with all the collection uh -huh. like a a, a a nice custom i can make it myself uh shelving mm -hmm. you know with, with yeah. like squares and uh, you know led lights beaming down on the figurines as promised let's get into the unboxing here disney collections <sighs> no, <sighs> shatters everywhere i'm not even going to joke about that in fact have them check your figurine before you leave the store because one of ours I'm not going to tell you which one it was, but <laughs> they opened it up and they're like, uh, this isn't good. It was all full of mold of some sort. I think that's I think some... it was a glue. It was like a brown mm. liquid I don't know. It looked something. like mold all yeah, over the figure. Yeah, it was not, not, not good. good but and I would be really upset if we got actually, home and yeah. had that. Oh my gosh. Well, regardless, I think that moisture got in there or something and either ruined the glue or the, the, the paint yeah. or... Cosmo. Yeah, it wasn't something that you can just clean off and mm -hmm. put it on the shelf. Music to your ears, huh? <sighs> you As you, stabbed yourself. I almost stabbed myself. <laughs> Ow! And, uh, let's open it. What do you think it is? Like, take a guess. Mm. Take a guess. This is the Pirates of the Caribbean ride scene, the jail scene at the end of the ride, close to the end, with the puppy where they're trying to get out. Here it is. I love the detail on these uh, little figurines. They are, it's like a, not ceramic. I'm not even sure what this is. It's very heavy, um, but it's like a, a perfect little mold, perfect coloring, mm. great detail. I mean, the dog's eyes are even painted a certain color. And each one comes with this little tag. Disney tradition combines the magic of Disney with the festive artistry of Jim Shore's Heartwood Creep, <laughs> creating a new collection, celebrating spirited moments and cherished memories. Such a great little piece. You know, every time you walk past it and look, it'll yeah. kind of feel like you're on the ride. And you can smell the ride when you look at it. Yeah. <laughs> mm, good old Pirates of the Caribbean <laughs> water smell. <laughs> Great quality. Mm -hmm. I love these things. I've always wanted them. Now we have it. What perfect time to, to get something like this of the rides because Disneyland is currently closed. Yeah. I'm very happy with this purchase. On to the next. Okay, now for our second item. This one's a little bit more challenging to, to take a guess at what it is because there's no writing on the box. Let's open it up because I think I've actually forgotten myself what's in here. Yeah, right. You've been dreaming about it. <laughs> this one, you know what? This one, I do know what it is. I'll tell you why in a second, but it holds a nice little place in my heart. I've wanted to get this for a long time since I was a kid. Oh boy, oh boy, Careful oh with boy. that knife. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is the piece that had the, the issue when they opened it at the store. So that was the last one. The one that had the issue was the last one in the storeroom. So we actually had to, to take the floor model 
um, as some may say, <laughs> the floor model, like it's a vacuum or something. But we had to take the one that was in the store on the floor. That rhymes. Without further ado, what did we buy as our second item at the Art of Disney store? Off the page, excuse me, Art of Disney. Here we go. Ta-da! The genie! You ain't never had a friend like me. The reason why this one holds a place in my heart is because... <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. Uh, the reason why is because I played the genie in Aladdin at my high school. And I'll say, It's your mind, so Marcus Allen, and I am the genie. <laughs> Hi, I'm Thomas Stone, and I am the genie. I'm the genie! I'm the genie! I'm the genie! I'm the genie! Can't we all just get along? Uh, anyway, you can see Aladdin this weekend. We'll tell you how as Good Day Sacramento continues. Hit it! No. Uh, genie, uh, imagine Robin Williams as the genie from the animated version of oh, Aladdin. Oh, funny, yeah. Very much what you get with this guy. He's very funny. I'm going to get out of his way and let him do a little something, okay? Mm -hmm. Plus, I, I think I have a, a wedgie on my... This is the atomic wedgie. I don't even want to tell you where this harness is going. Right now! Look at them! So, it was a, it was a fun part for me. Uh, just a high school production, but you know, back in the day, they, they mean so much to you. So, anyway, regardless, I've always wanted to buy this. I love this piece. I'm very happy to finally own it. Um, and it's in great, it is great condition. Dust. You should keep it. Disney dust. This is the dust from the store. Oh. <laughs> now, his head gives me anxiety because his little oh, hair piece yeah. up there. So I need to stay away from that. Yeah, this is great. Very happy to have this. He even has a little earring mm -hmm. here, just like in the movie. Anywho. Rub his back. Rub the lamp. Uh -huh. Three wishes, please. I wish for a million dollars. I wish to win the Powerball, huh? I wish coronavirus would be over and Disneyland would be yeah. open again. Very happy to have this piece. I think they're gonna both look so nice on our, our, our wall. This one's a little bit wider and, and also heavier. Gonna have to put a special shelf for it. So that's it. Oh, I was wondering where those strawberries went. We got these strawberries at Disneyland, oh, no. and Are they still good. I, and we got a magnet too. Yeah, we got the 65, uh, 65th anniversary Legacy Pass holder magnet for for their appreciation towards us over the years. Uh, <laughs> here it is, right here. Let me do the taste test. Tell you if it's still good. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Happy Valentine's Day to me. Hmm? <laughs> you know what they need to invent? They need to invent a better chocolate covered strawberry or chocolate infused strawberry. Maybe like, well, it won't be so pretty, but no. maybe you could put a little chocolate drizzle, but then insert a chocolate stick into the strawberry or something because So the chocolate on the inside? Yeah, because you get robbed every single time you eat a chocolate covered strawberry. I don't know if I'm the only one with that problem. I'm pretty <laughs> sure not, but it just cracks and falls everywhere. <laughs> and it on your hands. it's unacceptable. Thank you so much for watching us. Um, we had fun. Did you have fun? Had a great time. We were unboxing our, our traditions, our future traditions huh, of collecting items. So you saw us starting it. Let's see where it ends up in a couple of years. Who knows? Maybe we'll have two or three rooms just full of these collections oh, can you imagine? And, and like $40,000 uh, in debt from it. <laughs> <laughs> you have but, chocolate on your lips still. Cut! <laughs> Redo! Like Olena said, thank you so much for watching us. We really appreciate it. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you can watch our future adventures together. Lovely couple. <laughs> but we would love for you to join us uh, for future adventures. Uh, we're going to be doing this more and more often, so you might want to subscribe. 
hit the notification bell to get some notifications on the Adventures with Stones. By the way, um, if you like light beer like Corona or Modelo, not this, Buzz Light beer. No, this beer uh, from Trader Joe's called Trader Jose is really, really, really good. That's my like new favorite mm -hmm. beer. And it's half the price of like oh, Corona. Yeah. Corona's like I think ten dollars. Yeah, it's six dollars for a six pack. This was five fifty, five forty nine. We will see you very soon.